We have one here too. Look at this. Yeah, hey, Teamwork we're makes the to dream it work. Out, right? All right. It's pretty nice. Nas, in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't know. Her All name's right. Nas. <laughs> Opening up with uh, with a statement from Coach, and then we'll follow with questions for the players, and then uh, players will be dismissed, and then we'll go back to questions for Coach. So, Coach uh, Rico, if you'd like to provide an opening statement. Yeah, I was really excited for the opportunity to play. It's been uh, a minute since we played our last game, and it's been a really long time since we have played at Chrysler. So what an incredible, incredible environment. Uh, it really is so unbelievable to host. We've always been in a position to be on somebody else's um, home court, so this is really special. And uh, it was a great night. Americans, uh, a great team, but but we played exceptionally well tonight. And it was nice to get that game under our belt heading into Monday. Thank you, Coach. We'll open it up for questions for players. Please raise your hand if you have a question, and we will get a microphone over to you. Go down here in the front. You guys started off a little sluggish. Was it nerves or what? And then, you know, Kim just said exceptional. What what changed? Yeah, I think we came out. I think we were just really hyped, actually. It was almost the opposite of nervous. Um, just having the crowd, being able to play on our home court, you know, March Madness, just all of it, um, I think just caused us to come out a little, you know, a little rushed. But um, I think we settled in. Uh, we knew not to panic with it um, and just, you know, stay the course. We've got a question coming up on Zoom, but we'll go over to Zoom first. Yeah, um, I'm curious. You guys kind of talk about the energy in the crowd tonight. Talk to me a little bit more about what the crowd brought and how they were energized and what that meant to you guys as players. Yeah, I can speak on that. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I can speak to that. Um, you know, Emily and I are accustomed to, like she said, being at somebody else's, or Coach said, being, up, being at somebody else's uh, gym. And, you know, in that first five minutes where we are rushed and flustered, um, our home crowd was there still cheering us on. And that makes a big difference compared to when you're on the road and you're making a bunch of mistakes. And the only time you hear a cheer is when the other team's scoring on you. Um, so just to have them backing you, you know, whether you're making a mistake or not, um, and just being super energized. I mean, they were super loud today. I mean, even when we were just being announced, um, you could feel the energy in the air. Like, it was, it was electric. So just having the, that group, um, having all of our fans there um, was, I mean, it was a ton. Mm -hmm. it, was, it meant a lot. And huge shout out to our Maze Rage, our student section. Um, we've, they've been coming back game after game here towards the end. It's a big game changer. did a really good job against Jade Edwards, who uh, we spoke before uh, the game was arguably, she did basically everything, led points, rebounds, assists, you name it. She was really a non-factor, and I kind of as a result of the a team on offense uh, struggled, one from 21 from three-point range. Was that, uh, how, big of a, or how big of a message was it to stop Jade Edwards? Do you think that was uh, the result of, if you stop her, it would uh, collapse the entire team? <laughs> Guard? Come on, we got our defense right here. <laughs> Was um, that your matchup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like, yeah, going in, we knew that we had to be able to stop her. But then I feel like after being able to stop her, everyone else was able to contribute and stop everyone else who on the other team that wanted to score. So, yes, it was. It did contribute to that. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, like Coach said the, the, about the exceptional effort, what, you guys had a long layoff heading into tonight. Was there stuff in practice, things you saw in practice that you thought were building up to this type of performance? Yes, I would definitely say that it that these past two weeks of practice have definitely helped us in today's performance. Um, you know, throughout the season, especially once you get to conference, you are always focusing on somebody else. Um, with quick turnarounds, like game practice for one day and then another game so just being able to really focus in on ourselves and work on what we need to be better at um get our touchdown get some shots up that was super helpful for us um like i said always having a kind of game plan for other people and not yourselves uh, makes a difference uh, for sure over here on the right uh leah brown looked much more like herself tonight uh she had that three-pointer at the end of the half and then six assists you know what do you guys see from her tonight 
Yeah, I mean, having Leah Brown back, you know, it changes our whole team dynamic, um, whether it's defense, offense. Um, she's just a game changer. So, you know, I think it builds our team's confidence going into games. Uh, we had to go so long without her. Um, but just to see her out there playing confident, um, I think makes us all better. Yeah, and going off of what Emily said, being able to, like, play with her on the court, her energy, her fire, that all helps a lot. And she really is a big contributor to that as well. Further questions for the players? We'll go here and go up. Angelique, you can go first. Sort of picking, piggybacking on the earlier question about defense, it, it seemed like you guys did turn it up a notch this game, uh, you know, after those early, not jitters, but uh, overhypedness. <laughs> was that a big part of this, you know, working the last two weeks on, on getting a defensive flow from start to finish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say the last two weeks we really wanted to focus on defense. Kind of, I think that's our team's identity, um, or at least we try and make it, because uh, I think it really leads to our offense um, when we can, you know, rattle a team with our aggressiveness, with our length. Um, I think it's really productive. So we kind of tried to, coach tried to emphasize that um, the last two weeks of practice, um, and I think you saw it today. Yeah, and you know, on the on the front end we're working on our our defense just in general, and then on the back end. I mean, they're a team who really wants to run through their stuff. Um, they're setting a lot of screens. And if you can disrupt that and not really let them get into their flow, um, that was very helpful for us. So, um, you know, the past two weeks of practice, defense in general, and then getting those couple of days of, you know, their offense so we can work on that defense. I'm sure you guys don't have much time to scout Villanova yet, but what are your thoughts on a face of Villanova now in the next round? Um, I think that we – you know, we know that it's March. Anything can happen. Uh, we just come in locked in and focused, uh, play our basketball, but we're going to watch a ton of film in between now um, and when we play them. We've heard great things about them. They're a good team. Uh, I mean, all around a uh, good team. So just, just really trying to focus in on us first um, and then make adjustments after that. We've got time for one more over here on the right. The follow up for Layla. I was curious. Uh, what did, how, how did you feel in your first uh, March Madness game? It was great. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> going into the game, um, Mr. Greg Harden, <laughs> he told me to play the game, <laughs> and I feel like that was um, just being able to just go out there and know things are going to happen, and being able to just lock in and just have fun. And I feel like that was a big part of it. And then just my team again, I know I keep talking about it, but they just really help with like confidence and stuff. So going into that game, yeah, it was like more aggressive than the past couple. Um, yeah, it's March Madness and all the teams are gonna be great. But just being able to really like have my team behind my back and coach, she always tells me just to relax and just have fun. So I feel like it was pretty good, yeah, so. This was also my first March Madness game. <laughs> Good job, Nas. Mine too. <laughs> Go figure. It wasn't March Madness last year. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah. that's where you're going. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Emily never right. gets where you're going for the first one. It takes her a it's second. Okay. Good. She got it. All right, thank you guys. You're yep. excused. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. That was awesome. I got it right away, Nas. I know. We're on, I knew we're, you would. We're it's, on the same page. We'll open up the questions for Coach. Over here on the left. Thank you. Uh, Coach, you mentioned on the other day that you were um, kind of scouting American like you had scouted Indiana. That, that was kind of a similar comparison. How did that factor into today's performance? Yeah, I think. Um, American really moves the ball exceptionally well, and they set a ton of back screens, flare screens. Um, they run through their stuff, and we really wanted to be disruptive. Um, and I thought we established ourselves tremendously on the defensive end. They, they scored a bunch of buckets quick when we were playing in a super fast pace at the beginning of the game. But once we settled down, um, we were really able to establish ourselves on the defensive end, and I thought our defense was, was outstanding for sure. Angelique used the word overhyped, coach. How would you describe the first five, six minutes oh of the game? Gosh. And then what changed, or did you make any adjustments after that? 
I, I was wondering if I should call timeout or could we make it to the timeout um, just so I could tell everyone to just take a deep breath, like relax, it's going to be okay. Um, we, we spent a lot of time the last couple of weeks working on our X's and O's, but we also spent a lot of time um, working on uh, the mental part of our game and, and our confidence and having some tough um, losses this year, having some injuries, having some illness, not playing 100% healthy kind of took its toll. And, and being in a different position, and Matt, you and I had talked about that um, in the pregame, you know, a different position than we've been in before. So we really wanted to come in today being loose and being aggressive and being confident and just encouraging to our teammates and, and just staying positive. And I think we were at the start, but it was, I mean, super fast. And we couldn't get some shots to fall early, and they got some shots to fall early. Once the timeout came, though, I, I just said, okay, everybody take a deep breath. Like, we're going to be fine. Just settle in, get some stops on the defensive end, and those shots will fall. But we don't have to take them one pass and a shot. We were trying to control pace. That was something that we really had talked about leading into this game, um, how American does a great job of controlling pace. And they only average 60 points, and their opponents have been in the 40s and 50s, and we didn't want that to be the case. So we wanted to push that tempo. But we had to, we had to find the uh, – the common ground between really pushing it and taking the first shot that we could get and also maybe reversing the ball if we didn't have a great shot the first time down. And I thought after that first time out, we were able to do that and um, then then able to score a little bit more comfortably. Over here on the right. Uh, you heard what they said about Leah Brown. What did you see from her tonight? Yeah, I, I was so excited. Um, Leah Brown is obviously a difference maker for us. Uh, she is a she's a superstar. She's a, one of the best guards in the country, um, and she's a, she's great at scoring the basketball. She's great at passing the basketball. But the energy and the passion that she plays with is off the charts. It, it just makes a difference. And when she's when she's not playing, she does it from the sideline. But when she's on the court, it's just contagious. And she brought that spark, instant offense, whether that's scoring the basketball, but her ability to pass the basketball. I mean, the, she got the crowd going with that um, that curl to, to Nas drop off. I mean, just unbelievable. Uh, so it was great that we got to really to, – to, she got to rest and not have to play a tremendous amount of minutes tonight. Um, but just a, a spark for us and I, excited that she was able to play the way that she did today for Monday for sure. Yeah, so Nas and Emily both had exceptional games. Um, they were scoring the basketball. How important was getting the ball inside to them? Yeah, we knew we would definitely have an advantage um, with our size inside. Uh, and Nas being one of the best players in the country, obviously she's she's our go-to all the time. But we also knew that defensively they were going to really pack it in the paint and try to limit those touches there. Um, and and potentially leave Emily in some one-on-one -on -one situations. And I thought Emily just did a phenomenal job of being aggressive and playing confident. And, I mean, that's what we've pretty much seen from her all year long. Um, and, and tonight she had another great game of, of, you know, showing herself on the offensive and defensive end. Further questions for Coach? Down here in the front. Oh. Coach. Uh, early thoughts on Villanova, and then a second question. How beneficial is it just to get some of your younger players in and, and experience an NCAA game? I thought that was amazing, and we, we spoke about that a lot in the locker room after the game. The opportunity for everyone to get in the game was, was really special. Um, that doesn't always happen in an NCAA tournament game. Um, all of their families are in town. We have such a great group of young women and a great group of families and a great group of support that it was really nice that they had an opportunity to play in front of their family and in front of our, our, our maze rage and in front of our um, crowd. It was it was awesome. Um, Villanova, you know, prior to me being at Michigan, um, I coached in the Big East for 10 years. So um, I know Harry Peretta well. I know Villanova well. Um, I have folders and folders of what they do. Um, that doesn't mean it's easy to guard. You can know it. Everybody in the, his league, know, everybody in the Big East knows it. Um, but it's still very difficult to guard. 
Um, Denise is doing an amazing, amazing job. Coach of the year in the league. Um, I, three of my former assistants are head coaches in that league. So I know that league. I watch that league a ton. I know that league very well. And they all speak the world of her and um, the job that she is doing there, replacing a legend in Harry. That's not easy to do. So they, they have an incredible program. Similar to um, American, they execute their stuff. They read their screens. They slip their screens. They move the ball. Um, I, and, you know, this week I was – as I was getting ready for American, I was like, well, you know, I, I brought out all the folders, you know, on, on Villanova too, because it was similar and um, just re reread all of my notes through the years um, in preparation, just in case we, we would have to play them. They're a great team. They're a great team playing really well. And one more question for one more, Angelique. Kim, I was just wondering, um, with regard to Leah, you said you wanted you're happy she got to rest a little bit today. How, how much can she go? I mean, is she full She strength? can go. Yeah, she can go. Um, but I just, I just try to be smart with, with her. And I, I mean, I even took out Nas. I don't think she played in the fourth quarter too, but I, I try to be really smart with Leah, um, and just, you know, use her when we need to, but she'll, I'm expecting she's going to need a lot of minutes on Monday. And, uh, I kind of knew that in the second half of the game, I was, I was feeling that. So I was really trying to be smart about her minutes in the second half. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys.